Facts. But yeah, speaking of 50, though, in Atlanta, while we on the subject, no shit, that does kind of go ahead in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? It's the king, bitch. So I got all the ad libs today. I don't know why. (laughs) So your man's uh, T.I. is calling out 50 Cent for this versus shit, and it kind of went all the way left. (laughs) <laughs> all the way left I think that would be a dope ass versus And to be honest I think T.I. might beat him I think T.I. might do it 50 don't give a fuck about the beat. He don't He don't <laughs> He would do it just to talk shit 50 And I think that would be one of the funniest Verses ever Because 50 gonna talk so much shit And T.I. gonna use so many big words All T.I. do is <laughs> just talk shit Yeah So I wanna see it for the culture so, it'll be it'll be different. Definitely want to see it for the culture. I did the uh, just have I did. So I looked at. Of course, I went to Billboard because you know they say the verses is supposed to be about the number of hits. Mm-hmm. Um. So I look. Both of these niggas have four number one songs. Um. Fifty has thirteen top tens. Ti has eleven. But in total, Fifty Cent has forty songs that are on the chart, and Ti has fifty six. So I can see it being a really good battle. Yeah, um, T.I. said he he initially said he wanted Jay, but he was like, "Yeah, Jay ain't gonna do it." Duh, yeah, it's not it's not Jay. whole shit. Only person I can see Jay really even entertaining like that would have to be either Wayne or Drake. Yeah, but I think it'll go bad for either one of them. Yeah, I mean, it's Jay. But then again, it depend on it depend on the crowd. And it depends on what songs what you play. play. It depends yeah. on what you play. <laughs> We, f- we figured that shit out with Fab and Jada. That should have... You know what? I still thoroughly enjoyed that Fab and Jada. No, I love that shit. Thoroughly enjoyed that shit. Jada was resurrected. Not yeah. that he ever went nowhere, but drunk like him, Jada. As, a, yeah, him we, as a personality. We getting Jada drunk all summer. That all nigga was summer. wasted. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> that shit was dope, though. I like that they got both people in the same room now, so you avoid all the technical difficulties and shit. I thought it was real dope. I thought it was dope. Yeah, they not doing that with T.I. and 50, though. They might, though, because they don't really have no beef between each other. Not no real beef, to my knowledge. 50 posted a video of this nigga on Crime Stoppers. <laughs> <laughs> you got to understand. That's 50. <laughs> that's 50 type of petty, and it's promotion. Yeah, That's how 50 talking shit. Like, if you want to talk shit, we going to talk shit. We going to talk real shit, though. I don't know, man. I, don't th- I mean, even if they don't do it in the same room, I like to see it for the culture. I mean, the same room would I'm be ideal. Petty. Like Ti, Ti is a shit talking nigga. Fifty is the king of petty. Yeah. So hold on, I got the first part. Here go. Um, here go Ti. For your birthday, oh, I offer man. you a challenge. Call the man out on his birthday. Pull your ass up, man, with 20 of your records, man. Mm. Sit crawl for me, man, and so get this work, man. And get this work. You know you what I'm saying? Get this I work, Lux Voice. You don't want to answer to that challenge, because last time you got challenged, Kanye West dusted your ass off. Ooh, so, these are the facts, right, though. Do that, so. These are the facts, uh, well, though. <laughs> guess who ain't scared of your motherfucking ass, 50? <laughs> Look, man, pull up. Pull on up. Pull on up, man. It's the king, bitch. Pull on up, 50. Bring your ass on outside, 50. 50. 50. 50. Bring your ass on that. This is probably what he was doing outside Lil' Flip mean? Crib. Bring your ass on that. Bring, <laughs> your records, bring your hit records with you. That didn't end well for you him. He got chased around. He got chased around. Y'all bring your ass on that. If Come 50 on, drop that video, that nigga getting chased, though, that shit Come is hilarious. For your birthday. Yeah, that, that'd he be th- crazy. He thought them Clover G's were some bitches. He thought them Clover G's were some bitches. I mean, I respect the nigga for pulling up. It just didn't end well. Yeah. You always get respect for me for pulling up. Yeah, of course. Somebody gotta take a loss though. I think it's gonna be the I think it's gonna be the uh TI Fab I mean the Jada Fab shit. And I think it's gonna be in fifty favor. Fifty got bangers, but T I his catalog is just so wild. It depends on what he And play. even when you but that's what I'm saying, when you go to even just global bangers and shit like that, I think T I got it. But then are we doing mixtape fifty too? Or are we just doing throw whatever you want in there. 
You just, it just gotta be a banger. Because if we get to that old, be a banger. That old O two O three mixtape fifty. That sh- that yeah. nigga. That was that was a different era. It all still count. This nigga had half of America running around screaming G Unit like they was really in the motherfucking yeah. game. Yeah, y'all niggas. Some of y'all suckers even bought G Units. You, you had a G Unit tank top. I didn't have a G Unit anything. I seen you with the G Unit tank top. Have a G Unit anything in the, in, the, in the Throwback Thursday. I was fat nigga. I didn't even wear tank tops. That's how I know you lying. <laughs> Fat niggas wear white beaters, B. I do now because I don't give a shit. <laughs> fat, ni- <laughs> fat niggas wear the four X white beaters. I do now. Catch me on the beach, bitch. I'm in the white beater. <laughs> I'd be shirtless like Ross. So I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like nigga, I'm, I'm fat. You knew I was fat before you met me. That's what I'm saying. So right. uh, I'm a chubby nigga. So this shirt ain't gonna help you not see I'm a chubby nigga. You know what the fuck a chubby nigga look like, bitch. You better. And if we gonna end up fucking, you gonna see the shit anyway. So yeah, you know. But yeah, man. I think that shit'll work though. I want to see that shit. I really do. Yeah, but I don't know because Ti had um, he said some shit bringing up Supreme. You you know because Fifty brought the Crime Stoppers shit up. That's what I'm saying. And so, then Ti said some shit about snitching, and um, Ti should probably be the last person to talk about snitching. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So I ain't well, say Fifty it. bought the Crime Stopper shit yeah. up. He was on Crime Stopper saying, "Yo, if you see something, say something." Yeah, I mean, I know that shit was all for the, you know, for his probation and shit. Yeah, but, but even still, before then, I'm just looking at Ti's track record. Yeah, like nigga, you like an eight, nine time felon. You got caught with Call of Duty guns. But <laughs> like, I mean, niggas, everybody has the speculation of him snitching, but there's no paperwork. On top of that, who else got locked up but him? He's the worst snitch ever. If he, if he, nah. Uh, I mean, I haven't done the research. Nobody else, like, I don't think nobody else fought no case with him. No, of course they're not gonna fight it with him. But if he, provides. I mean, yeah, I mean, if, and again, I don't no, want to. I don't. I'm saying, so, but I would need to, to my see knowledge, paper. nobody else got locked up at all. Like it was true. It was him. I don't like to put the snitch accusation on anybody. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like snitch. to my knowledge, nobody else got locked up. However, my intuition would lead me to believe that he may be a tattletale. Yeah, but uh, if somebody as big as Ti snitches on you, he ain't gonna point to you. He's just gonna point in the yeah. direction. But like, that's what I'm saying. So if a nigga as big as Ti snitch on you, like that shit is not gonna hit the media. Uh, your name if Ti cut- snitch on a nigga, like and again, I'm not even talking about Ti, just in general situation. Like, what's some, a big artist? Yeah, of Ti stature. Your name can be removed he, from paperwork. But a nigga still gonna know. Like a nigga's gonna say, yeah, this nigga. Yeah, Ti yeah, snitch. Yeah, yeah, that shit would have been everywhere. Like I said, and again, I, I hope Ti is not a snitch. Yeah, I, no, I mean nobody. That's why I said if if you snitching and you the only nigga to get locked yeah, up, you're, bad. Like, you're, bad. you're the you the worst snitch ever. Terrible. <laughs> you should probably stop snitching. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I mean to my knowledge, nobody else got locked up. Um, he did the year in the day, which is why everybody's saying it is what it is because of what he had and then his past and all that shit. But I mean, money talk. Yeah. I just need to know what he spent on it to beat that case. Because you spent a year and a day in jail for that. Nigga, you beat that case. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't care what the record says. You beat that case. Yeah. So when... um, So 50 posted that, and then he said he gonna play You So Tough as the first song. Because, you know, that's the shit where he was... Yeah. Sneak this and uh, T.I. shit. Well, nah, that shit was kind of blatant. It was kind of blatant. He just didn't say his name. So T.I. posted... I take this as an acceptance of the catalog challenge. Yes, sir, ski. We got him. He bit the bait. This shit set this shit up. I got to glare on the motherfucking shit. Set this shit up, watermelon head. <laughs> <laughs> so I can shut his watermelon head at invincible neck ass up once and for all. And he said, as far as this clip goes, it's cute, old, outdated, and in poor taste. Much like your catalog. 50. Oh. However, I prefer facts, and the fact remains I have never given any information to any form of law enforcement at any time in life to get on anybody, to get anybody any time for any crime. It was a lot of innies. I got tongue-tied like a motherfucker. You know, actually, I believe that. And then he said, Supreme told me to ask 50 Cent if he can say the same. Well, that's all I have to say. And then that was the end of the (laughs) end end Uh, rant. That's why I said this shit is going to go left now. Yeah, uh, that I mean, you, you know, you know that name triggers fifty like a it does, and and it should, it should. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for for good reason, but yeah, yeah, so you know that whole 
shit that went down back then was was a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know which way this shit gonna go. Fifty's not invincible though. No, he used to be. I used to think Fifty was pretty invincible. Ross kind of shattered that. Yeah, and Ross kind of shattered. Not even kind of. Ross shattered that shit. Yeah, I don't. Fifty said that Ross was the CEO and nobody gave a fuck. I know I didn't. They started fucking with him harder. I mean, I did. I was like, this nigga was a CEO. Like, that shit's weird. Yeah, that's what I started thinking about the possibilities and shit, and then they just kept dropping bangers on us. After bang, after yeah, bang, so after like, bang. Whatever. <laughs> so then, no, all he had to do was say, yeah. I mean, Correctional yeah. officers don't actually lock anybody up. They nah, start, you already in there. Yeah, you start making excuses <laughs> for the nigga. Like, you already in there. Be like, he didn't, he didn't put you there. <laughs> you already in there. The nigga could be a good CEO. Give you extra trades and shit. You never know. You never know. Hey, he could be one of the CEOs that's bringing the work in. You know what I'm saying? So you never know. I ain't, I ain't gonna judge him for it, but which could possibly be the reason why the nigga probably was like, "Yo, I won't doing that shit." It ain't because he was probably ashamed. It was yeah. probably because he was like, "Man, yeah, a yeah. lot of shit." Y'all, y'all gonna be trapped up. Y'all gonna be jammed up. Yeah, y'all gonna be jammed up. That picture's still funny though. It's I fuck, bitch. I fuck with Ross hard, but the picture of him shaking it like getting his medal, that shit is funny as it. Fifty is a funny nigga, man. Yeah, he need to bring Pimp and Curly back. It's hard to, it's hard to beat him when it comes to Petty. Yeah, that nigga. I don't, I don't think nobody's, nobody can match his Petty. That Petty is different. <laughs> I aspire to be that Petty. I'm a Petty nigga. Yeah, I don't think nobody can match his shit. Um. Then he said he gonna he gonna punch DJ Clue in the face. <laughs> Cause I think it's the first uh, bad thing I've ever heard about DJ Clue in my life. Yeah, I mean Beans beat him up. It's Beans though. Beans beat a lot of people on up. camera. That shit was like that shit was on the. It's Beans on the backstage DVD. It's Beans. Beans beat a lot of people up. Yeah. But Clue, Clue, Clue won't even, <laughs> he won't even in the midst of none of that shit. Yeah. Remember the story where uh, Kanye had got jammed up at the restaurant? Oh, yeah. And called B, the nigga pulled up with the Mac and the coat and all, like, it's Beans. <laughs> you expect nothing less from him. Yeah, though, I remember, what was it? Was it Jay-Z's Diary? The shit on MTV? Mm-hmm. Where they was, uh, they was in the club and Beans jumped over the fucking wall. <laughs> like, <laughs> they was in there shooting a documentary. This nigga Beans jumped over the wall and it was like, yo... Let's get it. <laughs> a nigga train to go, a nigga train to go. So it's just. Yeah, but Clue is like. Clue harmless. Apparently, he pisses my. I mean, you could be harmless and still piss people off. Yeah, I mean, so pretty much what it was is. um, I guess DJ Clue had said some shit about him that he not going to play Pop Smoke new shit because I guess he didn't get it first. Or, some some wild shit. I think Fifty accused him of that, saying that he wasn't gonna play because he didn't get it first. Yeah, and then said that Flex been kicking his ass for years. <laughs> that was wild. I mean, it's not a lie. It's not a lie, but that was still wild. <laughs> it's not a lie. And then you know Flex, he ain't gonna like say chill. You know Flex eats that shit up. What do you mean that shit gonna be a drop on Flex's <laughs> hot ninety seven? Drop, drop that bomb. <laughs> Flex be kicking your ass for years. Like, you gonna hear that shit as a drop. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be stupid out too. But he has. I mean, Clue back in the night, like the late nineties, early two thousands, Clue was a monster. But Flex has been consistent for so long because he, yeah. he got that radio play. It's yeah. hard when you got that hot ninety seven station behind you. Yeah, and then I think Clue, he just on uh Flex still give you most of the fire. He on styles. internet radio. I want to say, nah, yeah. is he on? Nah, he on Hot ninety seven too. But I think he on like some night shit. Don't get me. I, mean, I don't live in New York. I don't fucking know. I know <laughs> if I go to search rappers freestyles, Funk Flex is usually the first person. Oh yeah, yeah. Up. It's either gonna be uh, Flex, Sway, or the LA or, Leakers. Yeah, that's it. That's the only three I know. Shout out to the LA Leakers. They don't get enough yeah. love over here where we at. And they be having some <clears> fucking heat too. LA Leakers got some fire. But yeah, I like I like the fucking. Um, the way 50 said worded the shit though he said i think you should get punched in the face i don't know why but i'm almost sure you're gonna get punched in the face <laughs> <laughs> i'm almost sure you're gonna get punched in the face nothing crazy just a lowercase l you know the vibes nigga oh that, <laughs> that nigga said ain't no real like i ain't, I ain't out to I ain't murder you, you yeah i ain't gonna beat you up, you up but time. i gotta put my hands on you 
I'm gonna just punch you in your shit one time, and then we can. If you just take it, everything's yeah. over after that. Like we cool. That's the lower. If you hit me back though, <laughs> it's not gonna kick ass. <laughs> just let me punch you in the face, B. <laughs> you imagine a nigga telling you that shit? Someone be like, "Let me just punch you in the face, and we don't have no more beef." 